ocean. The latest pronunciation I've received from YouTube comments is ocean. Unlike the one I got a year, year and a half ago called Ochang. However you say it, this is the new UV9 Papa from Better Safe Radio. This is a brand new radio, one of the best Chinese manufacturers on the market today as far as analog radios go, in my opinion. We're going to take a look at it right now. <laughs> Shut up and sit down. Ham Radio 2.0, where we do reviews, news, and how-tos of things that are new in amateur radio. Thanks for joining the channel today. My name's Jason. I'm KC5HWB. And I hope that you're here to see the new, I'm going to call it a Waxon radio, just because I'm, I'm just going to call it a Waxon radio, because that's how it's freaking spelled. That's why. <laughs> it is the new Ocean, Ochang, however you want to say that, uh, multiband, multi-receive, multi-display, multi-modulation, -modul multi-functional two-way radio. Multi, multi, multi two-way radio. So right here on the top of the box, you can see right here where it's got dual reception, simultaneously transmission on twin bands, reception on seven bands. Basically, this is a full duplex radio, which is great for satellite work. So I'm thinking that probably what I'm going to have to do is after I get done with this video, I'm going to have to let Frank borrow this radio so that he has a true duplex radio to try to work his satellites with because he keeps trying to fool around with that Baofeng UV82, and that's just, yeah, that's just not happening. So we will see. All right, let's take a look inside the box here. So it's got the... Uh, the sticker right there got the FCC and the CE. It says right here, this is a little bit misleading because right here on the sticker it, sticker, it says it transmits from 144 to 148 and from 420 to 450, which is the amateur bands right there. But then it says it receives from 136 to 174 and from 400 to 512. Well, it's got seven bands received according to this. So it's only listing the receive on those two bands there. A little bit kind of weird. Had to look at it twice to make sure, but not a big deal. Not a big deal. This is your standard ocean manual. Those are pretty good. Here's a better safe radio. Emergency two-way radios, accessories, MCOM info, programming, and consulting for SHTF prepping ham and business. <laughs> uh, save 5% with $100 or more. This coupon code, BSR. There you go. Go go spend that money. Spend that coupon code there. A link to this radio will be in the description below. Uh, they give me my own link. In fact, I think I have a coupon code. I think I have a coupon that I can share with people. I'll uh, check the description below. I've got a couple of different emails from them, and if I have a coupon I can share with you guys, I will certainly do that. So this is a 3,200 mil milliamp hour battery at 7.4 volts right there. A little bit different design. That's a little bit different. Uh, oh, that's definitely different than the previous UV9 models. I've got my UV9 Delta Mate over here. We're going to put that next to it and see what it looks like here in just a second. So nothing underneath the insert there. I'll put that over here. There's that. This one kind of slides onto the back. It's got these, these buttons right here, which is how you take it off. Just like that. It's got an SMA female on the top with an SMA male connector right there. That's pretty standard for this brand of radio right there. And then here is my Delta Mate. That's the 10 watt model. Um, this one sits up higher because it's it's got the belt clip on. Actually, that actually I'm wrong. I'm wrong, that is the same battery. I was thinking that, okay, I'm, I'm just thinking wrong. It's been a while since I've taken the battery off that radio. <laughs> there you go. So the Delta Mate battery fits onto the UV9 Papa radio. Just uh, wanted to check that out. Generally speaking, all of these UV9X series of radios have been pretty much the same. Uh, as far as form factor goes, buttons on the side, what they do. Uh, some of them have different bands received. Some of them have an 8.33 kilohertz step for um, air band traffic receive. And some of them have different features on them but uh this one boy that screen is beautiful look at that Let's zoom down on that a touch this uh this um url right here ocean.com better safe radio this program you can change that to say whatever the heck you want it to say but this one is uh 
The antenna's about the same height as well. Got the PTT on the side here. Get that in the light. One button here, two buttons there. Oh, that's a second PTT. Okay, so that's a that's a subband PTT is what that is. Uh, that turns on your FM uh, receive stereo. That opens the squelch. That's a monitor button right there. So that's uh, that's your FM. That's your broadcast FM radio. This is uh, a monitor button. It has the standard K connector on the side, so you can use your stand. Oops, you can use your standard. Um, of course, it has the uh, channel selector knob right here and the volume knob right here. Dual knobs on the top, which a lot of radios these days don't have that anymore. So, and it comes pre-programmed. So look at that. So seventy meter call, seventy centimeter call, two meter call. It's got all these frequencies in it. So you can probably Civil Air Patrol, U.S. Uh, U.S. Air Force, Mars, Mars channels, weather, MERS. Okay. So it will not transmit on the weather channels, which it shouldn't. It shouldn't do that. Good. Okay. So... It won't transmit on the MERS channels. Good. Okay, it doesn't do that. Doesn't transmit on GMRS, not a Part 95 radio. Okay. So it's got all these uh, frequencies in here for... Be safe. I don't know what that means. BSR. Nope. Okay. That There's probably a list on the website. In fact, I'll grab a screen cap and put it over here to what the all these channels are but look look this thing's this thing's full of channels gmrs all that frs gmrs again repeater frequencies the r is the repeater mers weather channels canadian weather channels mars 1 there might be a mars mod you have to put into it later if you do indeed have a mars license Military Amateur Radio Service is what that is. Civil Air CAP is Civil Air Patrol. So these are basically just receive ban right now. If you hold down the scan button, the scan button is right here, right next to the number three button. You hold down that scan button and it scans through the thousand channels. I don't know if all of them are filled up or not. That's a lot of channels in there. All of this is pre-programmed. I didn't put any of it in there. So there's two meter call. That one it works on. KC5 HWB testing. Right there. So let's go over here and plug in. Yeah, 146.52. Probably going to squeak squeal at me. KC5 HWB testing. KC5 HWB, woo! KC5 HWB testing on 146.52. There you go. So, of course, they're too close together, so they're squealing, but that is that. So, that's it's a really nice-looking radio, and I'm going to have to look up and see what all of the... Peel the plastic off the screen. I'm going to have to look up and see what all those channels are, because I don't know. Um, but, uh, but I'm sure it's on their website, and again, I'll do a screen overlay here if I haven't done it already. And we will try to get, uh, no, not that. Curious to see what kind of power out this does. So I'm going to take this and put it on the meter over here. Let me switch over to the right screen so that everybody can see what we're doing here. So let's switch over here. And I'm going to go over and got my awesome MFJ digital SWR watt meter hooked up, the MFJ 849. Really fun meter. Okay, let's do um, the first one we're going to do is the two meter call. And I think I can put that right here. Yeah, that's kind of bright in the screen. The, the top one is the, is the two meter calling frequency, which of course is 146.52. And the bottom one is the 440 calling frequency, which is uh, 441.0, 441.1, 446.0. I should know that, but I don't. I, I get confused between, uh, I mean, because, I mean, how often do you use 440 simplex? I use 440 simplex on DMR quite a bit, so I get confused between that one and the, and the, the DMR one. Before we test that, I do want to switch over here. I'll switch the, uh, the screenshot there to the UV9 Papa Amateur 
ham two-way radio and SF, SHTF scanner. So back ordered until mid-May, which is right now. Let's see. So if I go here, if I go, wait a minute. If I go right here, go to Radio Shop, Shop by Brand, I go to Ochang. They've got a UV9 Papa. That's the one we're looking at here. The UV9 Golf is a GMRS radio. I have that one as well. Be doing another video on it soon. The UV9 Delta Plus and UV8 Hotel. I've done those already. A couple of UV7Ds. There's a Land Mobile radio. So we're looking at the UV9 Papa Ham right now. And it's the one that's locked down to transmit for, on the amateur radio band. So that's what we're going to test that right now. I was going to see if there was a chart on here for all those pre-programmed frequencies that it has. If you scroll down here at the bottom, they do have downloadable software. 917 channels. Here it is. All, all prepper VHF UHF plus. View the programming chart. There we go. Okay, so here's the programming chart of everything that is in that radio. Guys, thanks for watching today. If you're finding value in this video, consider hitting that thumbs up because it does help with the YouTube algorithm. Let's get back to it. So we'll switch here. So it starts with GMRS 1C, 2, 2 Sierra, 3 Echo, and it tells you what all that is. And again, you, you can't really transmit but you can monitor and receive. And they've got spaces in between of them here, and that's kind of cool. I will put a link to this in the description below so you guys can go look at it yourself. I'm not going to go through all 917 of these channels. But they did leave spaces. I was wondering if they filled up all 999 spots, and they did not. They did leave spaces. So here's one right here, H2S5.51. Two-meter ham simplex. So Prepper Simplex is 146.42. I've never heard of that before. However, I have heard 146.42, I'm pretty sure, is, a, is the Red Cross Simplex frequency that they often use. So Ham, Ham Simplex plus BSR Neighborhood Safety, 146.300. So you can go through and read through all this stuff. Plenty of pre-programmed spots in here for you to use however you want to, but plenty of space to add your own local repeaters and simplex frequencies and of course you can change these also it doesn't you don't you don't have to leave it programmed the way that it is you can change stuff out and do whatever you want to so that's uh that's there right there so we'll go back up there and that's what we're looking at today so okay so on high power yeah that's high power on i want to do two meters first so band here on high power eight point two watts on high power kc5 hwb testing i'm hearing myself on the radio because ah, there it is but i'm going into a dummy load so i'm not really i'm getting i'm transmitting in the shack but that's about it <laughs> so eight point eight point oh right there okay so we're going to go up that's high that's high power on um two meter call and then we'll go up here to 70 centimeter call 8.3 again. KC5 HWB testing, a new radio. So put that over here where maybe you can see it. There we go. 8.4 on that one. Yep, 8.4 on that one. Probably getting a little bit of tiny loss here with this connector I'm using, but you know, it's an HT. It's 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 minimal. So that is pretty darn cool. So eight watts on both bands, which is really good. That's really good. You know, I put up these uh I put up these uh Balfour, uh videos about the 18 and the 20 watt versions that they didn't do 18 or, or 20 watts, and people were like, Well, why would you want why would you want 18 watts next to your head, next to your face? And I'm like, Well, you wouldn't. You wouldn't want 18 watts next to your face. But these radios all have tri power. They have low, medium, and high. So if you found an HT that actually did 18 or 20 watts on high power, turn it down to low power when you're talking with it like this. Okay. Turn it up to high power when you switch out the antenna and, and uh, put it on a mag mount on your car or use an external speaker mic if you're going to talk like this to it. And you have speaker mic hooked into the side of the radio here and you're talking like this, 
like this into the speaker mic and you're holding it out here. So just because it transmits 18 watts, you're like, well, you wouldn't want to use that next to your face anyway. Very true. But who says you have to be transmitting on high power all the time? The more you know. <laughs> so, hey, this is going to be a cool radio, I think. I'm going, to gr I'm going to grab one of these and take it out to the hunting lease and do some, uh, uh, curious to do some scanning with it. Of course, deer season not till November, but we'll be out at the hunting lease in June for field day. So I might put it up on the scanner and see what kind of activity we found out in the field out there. Some throw out my call sign a few of these um, prepper frequencies and see who's out there, see who's listening. So that might be kind of a fun thing to do. <laughs> really cool radio from uh, Better Safe Radio. It is a, it's definitely made by Ocean from uh, from China, but it's made to the specifications of BetterSafeRadio.com. The link will be in the description below. Go check it out. If I have, I'm pretty sure I've got a coupon somewhere. I got to dig through in my emails and find it. If I have a coupon, I will share it in the link below. And you guys go use that coupon to get a discount off of it. Because we're at the time in this recording, this radio sells for about $149. And they keep selling out every time they put them up on the website. So 73, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you have this radio, if you've heard of it, if you plan to purchase it. Which one are you going to use if you're not using this one? Which one are you going to use otherwise? 73.